Because of the cancer, the skin cancer, it can't be cut out because then we would basically cause a lot of damage to his nose. We could even deform his face and that could also lead to other problems with breathing and stuff like that. So the only treatment that would work for him would be the radiation. So we chose to do the radiation on his face and then the lesion on his leg we've removed surgically. We have been treating animals for quite a few years and we've sort of found out what works um, that we don't have to give them 30 treatments or 40 treatments as we do in humans. So in general we give, we give them four treatments and they tend to tolerate the treatment well. So we work quickly here, get everything done. He has to be on a drip, he's got to have fluids, that's essential. And we just take this opportunity quickly to treat his wounds, um, put him on a drip, and also then just to put some fly control and stuff like that on him and just give him a good check over. It has its limitations, obviously. You know, if the, if the animal is small enough and can be sedated and darted and, and anaesthetized, then one could theoretically treat it you're not going to get an elephant in the room.